hello viewers welcome to our channel where we give you latest news all around the world don't abandon Mazin Amdekanu, Senator Anyao begs Igbo leaders. Yeah, it is quite unfortunate that some false Igbo leaders have sold their right. Some has never supported Mazin Amdekanu in actualizing the Biafra nation. They have justified Inamdekanu. Now, why would the CMC, the Nigeria government, are focused on the Biafrans, searching and looking for the IPOB, the ASN? Why the Boko Haram terrorists? Terror groups like bandits are gradually taking over Nigeria. Before I start with this video, if you are just watching us for the first time or you have been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by hitting the subscribe button down below. In that way, that will notify you whenever we drop a new video. And I pray as we keep supporting our channel, God they keep sending people to support you. Amen. Now, nah, this is a bit. Senator Samuel Anyao on Sunday called on the Igbo leaders not to turn their back on the arrested leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB in Amdekanu. Anyao made this appeal on Sunday in Oweri while speaking to newsmen on the arrest and detention of the IPOP leader in Amdekanu. The senator who represented Imo East Senatorial District said the Igbo leaders should learn from the Yobas who stood against the arrest and planned extradition of one of their own, Sunday Igoho from Benin Republic to Nigeria. Ayahu insisted that Namdi Kano is still innocent until he is convicted by a competent court. He said, despite the arrest of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Inamdi Kano, which has been described as controversial, Mazi Inamdi Kano remains innocent of the whole allegations against him. Until a competent court of higher jurisdiction proves otherwise, I appeal to Igbo leaders not to shy away from identifying with him, maintaining that, so far, no court in the land has convicted him of any offence and as such should not be abandoned. We therefore urge the Igbo to toe the same line of action the Yoruba leaders adopted in defending their own. Mr. Sunday Igoho, Mahazi Inamdekano's arrest should not scare anyone away from speaking against the marginalization of the zone by the ruling All Progressive Congress (APC). It was of a standard when the Igbo begin to desert their own to incarcerate in the prison, strangers will cease to accord respect to them. All hands must be on deck, irrespective of political affiliations, to ensure the speedy release of one of our own. As an Igbo man. No way shall we deny him, even if convicted. Alright guys, um, that is it for the news now. Let me share my opinion with you. Yeah, my people, according to Senator Ayanwu, who said that uh, the Yibo leaders should not abandon Mazi in Amdekanu, the freedom fighter who is currently in detention, despite the fact that the Niger government had abused the rights of Mazi in Amdekanu. We know that he was abducted in a foreign country, and was bundled back to Nigeria without following a legal right, a legal way, and the Nigerian government thinks that it is not an abuse of his right. And the thing is that all these Igbo leaders don't know that the youth are not happy with the way they are keeping silent towards Mazinam the Kano's arrest. Now, what I realize with the Nigerian government is that each time people unite to fight for survival, the Nigerian government will use faceless group to oppose it. Now that many people have come to realize that Mazi Inamdekanu was right all along, Nigeria is not working. And the only thing that will save everybody is total dissolution of Nigeria. And the truth of the matter is that the leadership in the Southeast has failed the people of the region. So they have full control of their region and the Nigerian government has no power to control their region again due to the fact that uh, they have destroyed their failed uh, to accept what the people want and the people by working against their own interest. These evil leaders we are talking about and other groups such as or Anizi should know that without the people there will not be government and this sit at home uh, was declared by the IPOB which is for solidarity for Inam the Kano's release since they to protest in a democratic country is now a crime to the nigerian government nigeria as a country has failed 
Nigeria has never been won. It has never worked. So now, because of the evil people we have in the country, there are some of these leaders who will never be bold enough to step their feet on eastern soil after their tenure as a result of what they have done in the past to that same people. That reminds me of a statement uh, made by the governor of Kasina State, Masari, who said that residents should get arms in protecting themselves against terror bandits that have destabilized the country, which implies that the people should not wait for the government's protection anymore against these terrorists. And did you know that Mazi Inam Dekano has once said that a group deader than Boko Haram will emerge. They will seize many farmlands, rape women, kill innocent people because of their agenda is that they want to destabilize the country. And the truth of the matter is that these terror groups don't care about humanity. They slaughter, they destroyed many things. And Mazin Abikano, we remains innocent of the whole allegations against him unless there is an evidence to justify him. We already know that there are so many things wrong in this country called Nigeria. Now for Nigeria, you go see, say, anyone that goes against this past government is a threat to the country and a threat to the citizens. That is why they have detained Mazin Abikano without accusing it without any investigation or without any evidence and the government did not channel their arrest to the headsmen that have killed innocent people the Boko Haram terror group that have killed and kidnapped so many but the arrest was to only one person that have been protecting these people against several attacks from these killer headsmen and other people that have terrorized a region and we know for sure that Indibos are concerned about fighting for their equal rights and justice in Nigeria. And Mazinam the kind of situation was never properly investigated. And the Nigerian government knows that it is very illegal detaining innocent people. And so far Nigeria is existing today is because people are fighting for it. People fought for it. They died for it. So now according to the statement made by the Senator Anyao, which is a message to point out the evil deeds of some evil leaders against Mazenam the Kano on actualizing the Biafra nation. And no be today with the CM say Mazenam the Kano na big, big issue to the Nigerian government. He has always been right from the time. But the question is that arresting Mazenam the Kano illegally will it stop the high rate of insecurity prevailing the country. Alright guys um that is it for you all. I want to thank you for your support on this channel. It's not taken for granted. And please don't forget to share your thoughts on the comment section below after watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you next time till I come your way. Bye bye bye.